up and my face is dry as the Sahara Desert. It is so dry that I found like the savior of the savior of the savior for the dry skin and it is this baby oh my god if I can tell you how good this is. Um, so it says it's the chickweed neem tamanu 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 whoever that is I don't know if it's even an ingredient I don't know uh, nettle and vitamin E cream um, it's a soothing cream for conditions such as heat rash allergic reaction and prickly heat um, so I went in and that lady explained me all about it I anyway so it's a cool cool cream I'm gonna do a demo of me wearing it um, and it's so so creamy it's basically it smells of honey and nowhere in it it says it's it has honey in there but it, it's like I'm putting honey on my face but you know how when you put honey it's it's very like drippy and all that it's not like that it's like nice and just amazing honey it's like putting honey on your skin and that's what gets to me I hate I wish they come up with a pump, man. But it's it's an organic pharmacy. What what can we do? But it smells like honey. It's like I'm putting honey, and I just drip my whole freaking skin with this moisturizer. I swear, I put so much, like I put bare. Um, and that is what's making my skin come alive these days. Uh, my forehead used to be the driest of them all, but it's not currently. Uh, and you would not be disappointed. I've tried so many moisturizer, high end, drugstore, everywhere. I have not found something like this in my entire life. Of you can see the difference between my skin and how I was a little bit before. It's it's so moisturized. I literally don't put anything on my face anymore. No toners, no serums. I've stopped using them. All I do is wash my face and put this cream. And we're gonna start off with brows and I have discovered a new alternative to Anastasia Brow Wiz. It is, it is, let me tell you ladies and, ladies and, oh no gents, there's no gents. Go away, you're supposed to watch this. Uh, Maybelline Brow Precise Micro Pencil. Again, you won't be able to see it because, uh, but if you can just see a little bit, you guys will get a, uh, get a, view of how it actually looks like. So it has a uh, spoolie at the one end and it has the colour on one hand and it's basically same. If you use Brow Wiz you will know that it looks exactly the same as this one. Okay so this is the Anastasia one so that's the Brow Wiz and you see how this is. There's nothing left in there because it's finished. Duh. But you see how similar these two are? Look! Look! They're like exact styled up dupes like you guys can see this how similar it looks oh my days I never actually thought they have literally like copied the poor thing <laughs> but but the cost for the Maybelline one is really affordable it's like around six pounds or something and I don't have to buy brows anymore because this is like 18 pounds six pounds 18 six 18 I don't don't see the point spending £18 on a brow is because brow is, is a really good product but um, it finishes so quickly it it does not even last a month but it does not last a month it just if you do your makeup every single day uh, brow is, is a very bad not a pocket friendly thing to have because you get addicted to it and you have to buy it again and again and again and £18 for a pencil that does not last a month we get this. We get the Maybelline one. And um, it is so pigmented. You guys will see how pigmented this thing is. I'll show you guys. So you have to literally do light stroke. Like lightest as you can. Because it is so like... I'll do like a swatch. Like this is just a swatch of how it looks like. I mean this is... This is, this is pigmented than um, the uh, Anastasia one. So, ooh. See, see, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna become like a ghost today. And as you can see, my brows are not done because I can't be bothered to go and get them threaded because it hurts. <laughs> can you actually see what's happening? <laughs> it's, it is so pigmented, but, but don't be afraid. This bully saves your life.
so you really really have to blend this thing together we will do this yeah I really had to use a mirror I was using my Mac which was a bad idea that becomes whoa whoa <laughs> we are going to take our concealer put a lot on this bit so we're just going to be like bye bye whoops whoops I went a little bit overboard yeah this video is just going to be a bit cray cray fied oh hello hi <laughs> would you like to go out with me someday <laughs> Benji <laughs> oh no <laughs> you did not say that Anyways, Benji needs to be um, blended up, so Benji looks a bit fixed five. Oh my god, if you followed me on um, Snapchat, you know I got lash extensions done. Guys, they're gone. They're gone. And I have one hair. Can I, can I show you guys? I have one day. <laughs> I have this and it's not coming off. It's lit. Work with. So I literally tap some on my hand. And I dot it on my face. It is a good coverage. Like, I can go in a wedding wearing this. So you can see it's quite a lot of coverage. Like, it's literally covered everything on my face. My concealer. Okay, I'm using the MAC um, Fit to Me. It is the Fit to Me. So that is the concealer done. Now, one thing that I'm loving at the moment to do is I'll show you guys. You guys will know what I'm talking about. Is this cover effects. Oh, it's not even pointing it to the right way. It's so dirty right now. But this cover effects illuminating enhancing drop or something like that it is I didn't used to use it before because but I love it now <laughs> because I, I actually found a way to make it look amazing and this oh my god and I was with my so it's it's a uh, it has a doe foot applicator and it's just ding ding it anyways so what I do I take my middle or ring finger or anything I, I take some on the back of my hand, tap my finger in there, just tap it a little bit, a bit more like that, and take my finger like this, you guys can see how dewy this is. And what I do, I put on the high points of my face, like so, but if you guys can see this, it looks so good, it looks like you have Like that, you see, this is just like heaven. Anyways, time to use this. Time to use this uh, bronzer, baby. A Morphe. 104 m104 anyways it's a massive bronzer if i can show you guys so that is the new mark jacob bronzer that's the color of it first i thought it did not work for our skin tone but dude it did <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna clean a little bit of this. I take some powder, the Laura Mercier one, and just clean up this bit. Like, I put a line here. I don't take it in my hair because it just looks weird. See, like that. Thingy. I take this off. Just take off. It's the NARS Orgasm. NARS Orgasm Blush. You, 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 like that. Can you see? It's such a pretty, 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 pretty colour. It has gold sprinkles in there. Just put it on my pointy, pointy face. Here we 
but this one I take dip it in and like because it's so sheer that you can barely barely see yep <laughs> the Marc Jacob uh, mist. Oh, you can see my makeup now. I can go and see how it is. So, wait. Okay. So my intake on the coconut bronzer, if it focuses, um, it's a pretty good bronzer. I'm, I'm really happy with it. And it's so creamy that it just glides onto the skin like pfft, like butter um i i i, I really like it um it, it has a really good color payoff on the eyes when i used it it wasn't it was all right i mean i would i wouldn't use it on the eyes because it wasn't showing up as much i don't know why it's, uh so my contours and my cheeks and my forehead and my jawline all of that it showed pretty good and um with the mist again it is i was just eyeing this for so long and it's just i sprayed it on you can you can see it's just made it it's made the makeup even more glowy dewy and go ahead and invest it i think the price point of these two are quite cool this was 20 20 something pounds and this was 30? I'm not sure, it was something, but it's in the 20s and 30s line. Um, and I think it's a quite reasonable for high-end products. Like, you know, Tom Ford also came out with the similar bronzer. They're like the similar compact. It's the, like, the Tom Ford one is like the same size, but Marc Jacob has more products inside. Quite happy with my purchases. I think you guys should go and try them out. Test it out first. Or I would have purchased it from the US. I was thinking to let let me just purchase it from Sephora because it came on Sephora and I was like, hmm, let me just go and buy it. But you know, there was a little hesitancy, if that's even a word, um, with me purchasing it because I was like, uh, should I, should I not, should I, should I not? Imagine if the bronze is this, imagine if the mist is this, and I watched tutorials after tutorials of these two, but there weren't any helpful tutorial i've seen some tutorials which i was like it made me buy it but rest it wasn't there so i was just like i was really hesitant but i found out that uk was gonna release it so i was like you know what Bina, let's just wait for this and when it comes out we will go and test it out and then we will see if we want to buy it but if you get this um if you try this bronzer for the first time um when i like used it and i swatched it on my hands it did not come up as much like you can see it's 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 not even coming up as much um and i was like oh look it's not even coming up doesn't mean it's for really pale skin does it mean that it's not gonna look nice on us um so i was like to the lady oh hello lady can you like put some on my face but when she put it on my face i was like oh oh it is showing so that means it works so these two definitely works and uh, the ijazat to go away and see you guys next time but, um i will i will also do like um outfits and stuff right now i'm just in my home kapre. like i did not even bother to like dress up or so thank you so much for watching and I hope this video does well because I've recorded it with a MacBook camera and I am a bit hesitant on how it's going to look um, on YouTube and if it's good quality or not. But uh, yeah, so thank you. Uh, comment and like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye bye.